Let's set up a memory card SD adapter for our PlayStation 2s. You'll need any compatible model of PlayStation 2 with either a Freemake Boot memory card or a free HDD Boot hard drive. You also need a memory card to SD adapter, an SD card, and a flash drive. First, we'll put the SD card in the computer. Using a program like Rufus, we're going to select the SD card under Device, we're going to set the boot selection to Non-Bootable, the Partition Scheme to MBR, and the File System to XFAT. And after making sure we don't have anything we want on the SD card, we're going to press Start, and then OK. And now that the SD card is formatted properly, we're going to go onto the root of it, and we're going to create two folders called DVD and CD. DVD is where we're going to put the PlayStation 2 DVD-based games, and the PlayStation 2 CD games go in the CD folder. For example, Second Sight is a DVD-based game, so I'm going to throw it in there. And Res is a CD-based game, but we need to convert it first. To do that, we're going to go to opomanager.com forward slash site, and we're going to download the latest version of OPO Manager. Then we're going to extract the contents of the OPO Manager folder. After it's done extracting, we'll open up the folder, and we're going to see the OPO Manager exe. We'll open it, and when we come to the screen here, we're going to press Browse, we're going to scroll down, and we're going to select the SD card. And then we'll press Save. If you get this pop-up, go ahead and press OK, and press Yes. And if you look back on the SD card, you're going to see all these new folders that were created. Now to convert a CD-based game, we're going to go to Tools, Disk Convert to ISO. We'll select this option here, and then we'll press Open File. And then we're going to find the bin file for our CD-based game. And under this selection here, we're going to press Browse. And on the SD card, we're going to select the CD directory because this is a CD-based game. And when we press Start, it'll automatically start converting the game. One important thing to note is the naming convention, which we're going to notice right here, Second Sight isn't set up the right way, so we're going to fix it. We'll select the game, we'll go over here to Try Update File Name, and if it does it automatically, we'll press Yes. And then it's going to show up in the home directory, which will give us all these options here, including being able to manage the art, which we can then download by clicking on the globe here and pressing the check mark, and hey, there we go, we got cover art. Now we'll take the SD card out of the computer, and we'll put it in the SD reader. And now that we have the SD card set up the way we want, let's go ahead and set up the PS2. We'll put the flash drive in the computer. We're going to open up Rufus again. We're going to select the flash drive under device. The boot selection is non-bootable. Partition scheme is MBR, and the file system is FAT32. And we'll start the format. Then we're going to go to the open PS2 loader github and we're going to download this latest version here and using a tool like 7-zip we're going to extract the .7z file and we're going to open up the folder we're going to see this .elf file we're going to delete all this information at the end and press enter then we're going to transfer it to the root of the flash drive then we're going to take the flash drive out of the computer and we're going to plug it in the ps2 we're going to start with a slimline ps2 that's using a free mcboot memory card i'm going to open w launch elf we'll start the file browser we'll open mass and we're going to press R1 on the ELF file. On the menu that pops up on the right, we're going to press copy. Then back on the main menu, we're going to select the free McBoot memory card. We're going to go down to apps and select it. We're going to press R1 on the ELF file that's in there, and we're going to delete it. Once it's deleted, we're going to press R1 again, and we'll press paste. And on free HDD boot, we'll launch ULE, file browser, mass. We'll press R1 on the ELF file and press copy. We'll go to HDD0, sysconf, fmcb, apps. If you want to keep your original open loaders, you can keep these folders and create a new one, but I'm going to delete them, so I'm going to go to OPO 1515. I'm going to press R1 on this ELF file, and I'm going to delete it, and I'm going to press R1 and paste. Regardless of what PS2 you're using, so long as the file name stays the same for the open loader, it's going to work from the menu without having to configure anything else. So if you want, you can launch open loader by pressing circle on the ELF file here, or you can launch it from the Freemake Boot menu. And as expected, it worked great! As for the slimline PS2, it also works as expected. And and if for some reason your free McBoot setup doesn't already have an open loader section, check out some of my previous videos where I showed you how to add menu selections to free McBoot. And regardless of what setup you're using, go ahead and unplug the flash drive and plug in the SD card reader. Go to settings, go down to BDM start mode, and we're going to set it to auto. Then go to block devices, then go to MX4SIO and turn it on. Press OK. Go down to save changes and press X. Then press exit and launch back into open ps2 loader then when we load into this menu we're going to press circle and we'll see all the games by default we're not going to have cover art so this is how you enable it press start to go back to the menu go to display settings turn on automatic refresh and cover art this would also be a good time to set up your TV's resolution, as well as setting up widescreen. Then we'll press save changes, and now not only do we have our TV's resolution set up, but we have all the cover art. One more thing to keep in mind is if you add more games to the SD card, since we have auto refresh enabled, it's automatically going to add the new games. And lastly, we'll fire up a game, and we'll have a good time.